thought when I read the script, which my partners wrote, I thought it had a real interesting element to it that's somewhat close to my heart, which is kind of a southern gothic flair. I'm from the south, and there's just an inherent unease that people from other parts of the country seem to feel about the south or certain parts of it. I just thought it offered an opportunity for some really down, dark, twisted, southern gothic type of atmosphere, which is something that I don't think that a lot of horror movies have done lately. I mean, you get, there, right now there's uh, all the Japanese horror remakes and stuff, and there's your Saw and your Hostel type stuff that are more, what I would call industrial horror. They're much more concerned with machinery and gadgetry and just, you know, situations, and I thought this would be a place where we could really make use of atmosphere and make use of just the inherent creepiness of a backwoods swamp type setting and I just thought it would be a great opportunity to get a bunch of nice likable people who were just like anybody else you see on the street and terrorize them and kill them off in some really creative ways. It was, it's a fairly simple structure I think for a horror film it's something that most people, you know, are fairly familiar with and I think they've seen parts of it before, but this was an opportunity to make a really unique twist on it that I don't think had been done in a good long time. I, I, there was a lot of, even from Tennessee Williams to James Dickey in the back of my mind when I was trying to put this thing together. And that was what really attracted me to it was just the southern feel to it because I kind of embrace all that gothic history that we have rather than deny it, which is the revisionist history popular way to think about those things. And so I just thought it was an interesting milieu to make a horror film in.